Welcome guys, in this video, I will be ranking the top 10 best guns in PUBG Mobile and BGMI. By the way I will not include airdrop weapons in this list, because they will take up all the top positions so to make this fair we'll do non-airdrop weapons only. Anyway starting at the number 10 spot we have the Micro Uzi. It is a very popular SMG for being one of the deadliest weapon in this game, but it has the lowest damage output in the entire SMG family. However, don't let this low damage fool you. Because Uzi is the fastest firing gun in the entire game, for example it can shoot approximately 22 rounds in a second, or 22 bullets per second. Which means you can do this amount of damage for every second, for comparison this is what other few popular guns can do. Now I hope you get a better understanding on how powerful Uzi is actually. But you might be asking, if Uzi is really this powerful, then why it's not on top positions? Well there will be some consequences for being the fastest firing gun in this game that will put some drawbacks for Uzi. The first and obvious one is you will run out of ammo very quickly. Plus Uzi has a small magazine size which requires you to have the extended mag otherwise you will be constantly running out of ammo in the middle of a gunfight. And here is the damage information for Micro Uzi with every type of armor, feel free to pause and take a closer look. Uzi requires a lot of shots due to the low damage output, so if you want to use Uzi make sure you have a good aiming skills otherwise you will miss half of your shots. Now at the number 9 spot we have the M249, this light machine gun used to be one of the most powerful weapons when it was in the airdrop only, but now after being a world spawn weapon it's not bad as you think it is. If you look in this perspective it still has the biggest magazine capacity in any weapon right now, now let's look at the damage information. So this is how much damage you deal to your opponent depending on where you hit and what armor they are wearing. M249's gun power is very mediocre, but its magazine size, what makes it a special weapon, and gets the number 9 spot in my list. Do you think people will still be afraid when they hear the M249's gunshots? Let me know in the comments. Now at the number 8 spot, we have Mini 14, it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle aka DMR which stands for Designated Marksman Rifle. I think DMRs are very underrated in PUBG Mobile because they are very hard to use or control, but if you know how to use a DMR properly then they are extremely powerful in mid to long range scenarios. However I find Mini 14 is the best DMR in my opinion, because Mini 14 is a lightweighted rifle as it uses 5.56 ammo which means the recoil on this gun is slightly easier to handle when compared to other DMRs especially the ones with 7.62 ammunition. And the biggest downside of Mini 14 is its low damage output, it has the lowest damage in any DMR, so you are often required to hit more shots to kill your opponent, since Mini 14 is a very reliable and accurate DMR it won't be a problem and Mini 14 has the highest bullet velocity in any weapon which means you can hit the running enemies much easier. But other DMRs are not bad they are still powerful or more powerful than Mini 14, but I find Mini 14 is the most effective and reliable DMR. Just a quick note, QBU replaces Mini 14 in Sandhawk, and QBU is way better than Mini in almost all angles, so QBU will also get the same spot as Mini. And now at the number 7 spot we have DP28, I'm sure every single player likes this gun, because this gun is known for being one of the easiest guns to use in the game, with almost no recoil and the same damage as an AKM. Despite in recent updates PUBG decided to nerf DP28, and it resulted in almost losing 10 to 20% of its power, but now DP28 is still really good, here is the damage information and stats for this weapon. And the DP28 is only good at one thing, and that is shooting at stationary targets from mid to long range. Once your enemies starts moving it will be hard to hit them. And in close range I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's still usable, but almost every gun can outperform DP28 in close range. Anyway now at the number 6 spot we have shotguns, this includes all the shotguns, if I individually rank them it's gonna take up few spots in this list, so this spot is for all the shotguns, and if I have to rank all the shotguns from best to worst. This is how it would be, at number 1, we have the new Livic exclusive shotgun, M1014, this is the most powerful shotgun, because this has the highest damage in any shotgun. And at number 2 we have DBS, and at number 3 we have S12K, and at number 4, we have Double Pump Shotgun S686, and at number 5 we have S1897, and lastly sought off unranked because it's trash. 
Anyway shotguns are extremely dangerous in close to close combat fights, especially when it has instant one shot kill ability, which makes them a deadly close quarter weapon, but sometimes you don't get that one shot kill, which puts you at a massive disadvantage, because shotgun's first bullet is the most critical shot you will ever get, in case you mess up your first shot, then your second shot has a higher chance of you missing it again, and this keeps increasing as you start missing your shots, and we all been in this situation many times so you can't really do anything about this. And the way how shotgun damage works is, when you fire, it releases 9 pellets and each pellet does a certain amount of damage, for example S686 does 24 damage for each pellets, in case you hit all your shots in the chest area you will be doing 216 damage to your opponent. And other shotguns may have less or more damage. So shotguns kinda depend on your luck sometimes you get that one shot kill sometimes you don't. Anyway now at the number 5th spot we have Masa Nugant and Car 98 k they both will share the same place, because these two sniper rifles are very very similar in almost every angle, it's like copying Car 98 k and changing its name and design, so you get this new weapon, and if you want to learn more about these two guns I made a dedicated comparison video, link is in description. But in a short summary Masa Nugant is better by a very very small percentage, which doesn't even make any noticeable difference. But there is a weapon that would make a major difference, and that is M24 which is at number 4th spot. Did you know M24 used to be an airdrop weapon in early PUBG mobile era? But anyway M24 is the best sniper rifle that is world spawn, and it's also very rare weapon to find. Here is the damage information on how much damage you deal to your opponent depending on where you hit, and what type of armor they are wearing. M24 still can't one-shot a level 3 helmet only AWM has that ability. But still M24 is better than Car 98 in almost every aspect. Anyway moving on to the number 3 spot we have UMP45, currently it's a god tier weapon, that recently getting more and more popular as PUBG decided to improve its gun power. And now I actually think that UMP45 is stronger than ever, it even outperforms the old UMP9, if we compare now. Nowadays everyone are running UMP45 doesn't matter, whether you're a new player or a old player, it just dominates this game in close combat fights, because of its damage output, while also being very easy to use. Its recoil is very manageable, and I find it extremely easy to handle this gun especially with its crazy hip fire accuracy. And I would say UMP is now the best SMG in this game for being a very reliable. And I think we could say UMP45 is almost equivalent to be an airdrop weapon. But I shouldn't go this far to say this weapon is the best, if you ever find UMP45 just pick up and use it, you will understand what I'm talking about, and if we look at the damage information of UMP, it has the highest damage in the SMG family. And the special advantage of SMGs is their arms and legs damage which won't be protected by the helmet and vest, and even if they are wearing level 3 armor. You only need to hit 4 shots and they are dead. Now at the number 2 spot, we have AKM and Barrel M762. Once again these two guns will share the same spot, but this time there is a huge noticeable difference between these guns. But most people will either choose to run AKM or Barrel. And currently at the time of making this video, AKM is significantly better than Barrel, because AKM has the highest damage in any assault rifle, and here is the damage info for both guns. Now finally at the number 1 spot we have none other than the M416, this weapon doesn't need any introduction, because everyone knows this is one of the most commonly used weapon in PUBG Mobile, and doesn't matter what situation you use, it's gonna perform really good, as it has excellent stability and most reliable weapon in this game. By the way this number 1 spot is shared by its similar weapons such as SCAR-L, G36C, AUG-A3, QBU. All these guns has the same damage as the M416 and same rate of fire. But there are few small differences that makes the M416 best in this category, however AUG is better, but still M416 is M416. Here is the damage information on how much damage you deal depending on where you hit and what armor they wearing. M416 is a gun that you can trust for every range. Anyway that's all I got for this video. If you learned something new today hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this. See you guys in the next one. Enjoy my bot gameplay.
things we miss so our interest People who stand out, the faceless crowd, lost and found, picking up on the speed of sound to faster ground, moving on. I can't hold back all the new progress, but I.